Hey all, welcome back to another video. This is the next part of that lot uh, there that uh, we started in the last couple videos here. So first up we have this, what looks like handmade um, rose gold tone wire wrap around these little plastic sparkly beads. And next up we have this brand new um, Global Girlfriend Women Made Eco-Friendly Fair Trade Necklace. Um, it looks like it's uh, all plastic um, chunks that are all put together here in this multi-strand. Then, then we have this little handmade one that I made on a gold plated chain here uh, with this faux pearl pendant and then we have this uh, little bangle I've got some similar to this one already and then another little or not bangle that was a cuff um, another little cuff bracelet here And then there's this big disc one here that uh, I added onto a chain. And then there's this uh, glass bead stretch bracelet. Looks like check glass. And then another handmade one that I made with this little uh, racing checkered panel pendant and this uh, little glass bead here as well as a gold tone stud that I used to connect to there on this bronze stone chain. And then we have these little stud earrings here. They're a silver tone with what looks like a cubic zircon. And then we have a really long necklace here as well. These little plastic panels. Um, but uh, yeah, just kind of a fun, colorful necklace. And then here is a couple of stainless steel ball studs. And then a couple little heart studs here. And then there's this really uh, elegant, colorful pin brooch here. You have some blue and some clear, as well as a little bit of pink down here, and then mostly yellow in these little plastic rhinestones. And then here we have a nice little silver tone hair clip. Very, very pretty with the little rhinestones in it. And then we have this little wood American Patriotic pin. Um, not 100% sold on what I'm going to do with this one yet, whether I'm going to sell it or just put it into a scrap lot. I don't know. Um, and then we have this handmade one here. Um, there's a caramel agate there, some plastic, and then some tin, a tin uh, gold tone leaf there, as well as another gold tone leaf here that has uh, rhinestones and beads on it. And then this is another really long necklace here. It's a little teardrop stainless steel connector panels on there. And then here is a sphere that uh, is open so you can see through it it's got all kinds of really shiny rhinestones all over it on a bronze stone chain and then we have this one here with a little there's a long drop pendant here um, and a plastic designed to look like a rose quartz but it's plastic on a 
Gold tone chain, that's one I made there. And a couple of angel heralds for Christmas in the theme there and studs. And then here's another one that I made. This big charm here. It actually opens. There's a little compartment in there. I don't know what you'd really put in there though. It's so tiny. And then there's this little love necklace here as well on a pink beaded chain. As well as a little ladybug pin. Looks homemade and painted. And then we have these beautiful ethnic earrings here. If I can get them laid out properly. Yeah, so I mean they've got the little green rhinestone up there. And then all the little danglies. Very pretty. And then there's this ring here. If you turn it all the way around, yeah, it's open all the way through. I don't believe that was branded. No, it wasn't. And then another little ring here, just a little simple, plain ring. And then some little retro enamel earrings. I believe are those Avon. They look like Avon style. I don't see a brand on them, but they do look like an Avon style. And then we have this dress bracelet here with all the little red uh, faux rubies. And that one. Oh, yeah, it has a rhinestone on that. I thought this one was branded, but I must be mistaken. And then we have this uh, handmade one here again black onyx up there and then we've got this little owl on a gold tone chain and we had one similar to this um, that wasn't in as good a shape um, the pendant was broken the last one I got like this so happy to have a little glass one like this and uh, the ribbon and leather rope is actually in really good condition And then we have another one here that's handmade in this little drop pendant. Faux pearl and a dark blue glass bead. And then um, I'm going to pop these out of the bag here. Oh yeah, these are like a dream catchers, like a pair of dream catchers. And then there's this big clustered layered necklace here. I can get it to sit right. Yeah, so it's just this long layered necklace here. And this is a multi-toned bib style necklace here. I really like all the little hand engraving things on there. And this was branded um, BCLM, maybe Volcom? I'll have to, no, it wouldn't be Volcom. I'll have to double check. I'm not sure who that is. Um, and then there's this dress bracelet here as well. This in a little bead strand. Put that bonus hair out of here. These are all plastic beads here and a gold tone chain. And here's just a plastic bead necklace there. 
And then a couple of little bar studs. What's your bell got in her tongue? Probably tongue. And then here's a pin. Looks vintage. Got some bonus hair on there. Yummy. Okay, so that one, again, not sure what I'm going to do with that one. If I'm going to keep that as a as a pin or what I'm going to do with that. Actually, it might even be... Is it supposed to be an earring? I think it's a... I almost think that's supposed to be an earring. Ugh, that bonus hair won't go away. That's an earring that's really ugly. I might just scrap that one, guys. And I made this butterfly one here on this silver tone chain. Thought the butterfly was really, really cute. Another handmade one by me here that I layered up a few different earrings to make one large pendant on this stainless steel chain. And then this, you'll recognize, it's the bracelet to a necklace I'd gotten before. I'll still sell them separately, but uh, still, cool, I found the bracelet. And then here's a plastic bead bracelet here as well. It's black instead of white, like I often see. And then here is a Sasha New York um, plastic plastic on silver tone stud earrings. You can see they were originally twenty dollars, and now you're paying ten. So I can probably pair, um, charge around ten dollars. I'll probably ask for them. Um, and then here is a little studded cross bangle. And then another pair of Christmas earrings. This one's bells. And then there is this one here as well. It's on a stainless steel chain, fairly long one. I really like that one. Uh, an earring stuck on that. I guess I'll grab the other earring to that. So these are very similar to ones I'd shown before in the previous video. Um, so I end up finding the mate to the other one. So got another pair of those. And then we have this one here. Um, again, almost a like Christmas color on that in this drop tassel. Um, they feel like ceramic beads. And then we have some more Christmas bell earrings. And then we have this little lace choker here, in really good shape. And then we have this nautical theme charm bracelet. And then another handmade one by me on a stainless steel chain. And then we have a couple more angel pins. And some little hoop earrings. And then we have some star earrings. I think that's supposed to be star and shell, like starfish and shell, so nautical theme. And then we have this cute little bangle here. And some green hoop earrings. And then another little fancy pin here. Not sure exactly what that's supposed to be. Uh, I see flowers coming out of there, out of this spiral. And then here is a wire seed bead necklace there as well. Not. 100% sure if I'm selling that one or if I'm just scrapping it. I don't know. Here's a nice watch. I really like the uh, face of this. It's very different. It has an antique feel to it. I don't think I've seen a brand on it. No, it's unbranded. Um, but it's a nice woven brown leather um, and rope band. And here's another one that I really like here that I made. 
Um, it's kind of got that closing a look to it. And then we have a, another one that I made in a rose gold tone chain. It has the heart, the upper, or the stars, the upper layer, and then one of those little bracelet panels. It's the bottom layer. studs here. These ones are dressy. And then we have this necklace. I kind of like this one here as well. It's just kind of kind of fun, colorful fun. And then we have this one, which is really long, so there's that's the bottom, and then it clasps up there at the top of that. It's just my toes and the neck. And then we have a gold tone necklace here as well. The back has this kind of bullet thing on it, and the rest is just kind of a long tube panel. Links. And then this is kind of a dressy, fun bracelet as well. And then there's this ring here. It is adjustable and kind of got that crocheted flower on it. Kind of different. And then we have this and these fun little teddy bears with abalone shell in different colors on there. And then another bracelet that I made. This has those caramel agates on it, as well as some flowers. Just kind of fun. And then there's this uh, woven X silver tone bracelet. And then a faux pearl bracelet here as well. Another stretch one. And here's another one that uh, we have all kinds of different stones dangling from it. Little cabochons. And then some more little stainless steel ball studs. And some woven um, gold tone earrings here and kind of that brushed gold. And then there's these little dropped angle earrings as well. And then, this is a really bulky plastic necklace here, but it's kind of fun and colorful. And then, a couple little plain plastic studs here. And to look like rose quartz. And then we're going to bring out a few earrings. So there's these in that retro earring look there. And then a little bit more modern. These little earrings in that French wire. And then we have a belly button ring that actually had both on it and the emerald. And then this one's kind of got that southwestern flair to it with the little dual tassel bottoms there and this bronzed, bronzed gold. Um, a leaf flower. And then another watch. Um, that one was a branded one. It was Flick Flock Swiss Mode. Or Swiss Made. And then uh, here is another one here. This one it was a Louis Arden. And then a little wrap bracelet here with the seed beads. And then this one here is a Claire's piece. Um, it is a locket, so you can actually open that. Um, Claire's pieces don't sell for a whole lot. So I might I might list that one for fairly low and just try and sell it that way. If it doesn't sell quickly, then uh, I'll probably end up scrapping it. 
Then here's some designer series made in the USA. Lucky Clover earrings, brand new. And then here's a couple of more North American uh, native um, earrings. Have the, the little dangles on it and the little woven thing there. I'm glad they had them in a baggie because a lot of times those woven ones end up just destroyed. And then here's a two-tone gold and silver pin. And then here is a plastic bead with some kind of Asian writing on it. And here's another watch. Palacio. It looks fairly new too, actually. And then we have a couple of earrings here. If I get the hook out of there, then I can show. There we go. So they just layer down like that. here with the plastic beads just like that and then another little pin a cold tone zigzag I don't believe this was was it branded oh yeah I believe it had a brand on it I just couldn't make out what the brand was yeah. And then we have this little stretch bracelet here. Again, just kind of colorful and fun. And then we have this watch. It's got the gem line leather on the back. And that's a Timex Indie Glow. And then another little fancy watch here. Oh, it has a, a watch name on there, and it's by LST. I don't know what exactly that means, but... Um, and this is a very long and unique tasseled necklace. Don't know if I've ever seen anything like these. These are all little glass beads. And then we have a handmade necklace there. A simple little Monet necklace here with the little bead thing there. And then we have a couple little drop dangle hook earrings. Just very simple. And then these are more 80s fashion in that uh, gold tone with the green enamel on it. Very nice earrings. And then another handmade one with kind of a sort of half spiral. And uh, this little stud that I reused. I'm all about the upcycling, as you know if you've watched my videos before. So I'll grab another batch here and then we'll get going on that. So there's this one here that I put onto my own little thing. It is a wood, wood hand painted disc here. I don't know if that's wood or stone. It might actually be just a stone. I'm not sure. And then this one here, I reused a pendant. A little pin, another Christmas theme one. Lots of that in here. And these are all stone beads on this little stretch stretch necklace. A nice pair of dressy gold tone earrings with the rhinestones, or those might be crystals actually. Expecting crystals. Um, and then here 
is one that is by oh mythology. So I really like that they've got all kinds of different little beads on there. It's kind of fun. And then this one, just a little, I think it's a scarf pin. And then a faux pearl bracelet here. It's fairly heavy. These are glass pearls. And then this one's another one that's handmade by myself. And another one that's handmade by me. handmade by me it's kind of got this little the Eiffel Tower stud that hangs down with all these little glass beads and we have this another one of those um, this is a longer more shiny version of that little Two blink one that we saw before. And a handmade one by myself there. And then this one here, kind of that closing a style again, handmade by myself. Upcycled materials. And then here is a flower necklace there that I made. And then there's some little tiered wood disc earrings. Kind of like them, they're kind of fun. And then there's this um, fancy hair barrette here as well with all the little marcasites on it. And then we have a pair of little vintage studs again. Um, those are plastic on there, but I think they're kind of supposed to look like amber. And then here's another one that I made with upcycled earrings. So I've got a few pieces I combined to make this. And then here's another one that I made. A panel that says Hope. That was a bracelet before that was broken, so I kind of reused it and it had this symbol on it that I've actually it's got a, a crown over what looks like a laurel so I'm not sure what brand that was before but it looks like some kind of British brand or something European um, and then here is a another winter theme bracelet Lots of Christmas stuff in this lot. And then a couple of uh, little silver tone rose earrings in the studs there. And then another necklace I made here. The uh, mother of pearl and then the little laugh pendant. And we have this necklace here. It's kind of got a floral pattern um, put into it. I'm not sure if that's just worn off or if that's what it's actually just supposed to look like. That I'm not 100% sure. I may end up just scrapping that one as well just because I'm not sure. Um, and then another faux pearl necklace. We see tons of these little faux pearl necklaces. And then here is a cloth choker. Looks like embroidered. Just a 
couple more and then we'll end this. There's another one I handmade. And another one that I handmade. Okay, and then here's another one that I handmade here. And then another handmade one by me. As you can see, I've been very busy making a lot more jewelry. Find it a very good way to relax, to help my anxiety, is making jewelry. There's a little tiger's eye on there. Um, making jewelry in these jewelry unboxings, yeah, it's really helped my anxiety a lot when I do these. Um, I missed a couple days of work this past week here, and I went to make jewelry instead, and it really seemed to just calm me and center my brain. It's another one I made here. I like the little ladybug on there. It has a little pop of color. Okay, last two and then we'll call her quits. So here's this one that I made. It has a little clover leaf on it as well. Um, and then, oh, I got three. And then here's a cowboy boot there and that's Southwestern style. And then the final one we're going to do for this video is this one here that I did. I really like this one. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. There's um, a lot more jewelry to go through yet. But, uh, yeah, it's a good start. So, thanks for watching.